welcome back to my channel. I am Brian. Um, a couple of things we're gonna do today. I wanna do a Dutch pour. Um, so we'll talk about that in a few minutes. But I have been resining like crazy. Is that the right word? Resining, resin, resining. Um, <laughs> seven pieces I've resined. Um, I'm not gonna show you all seven because I don't wanna make this video very long, but I will show you a few of them. So this is one that I did in one of my videos. This one here, I'm really happy about. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. The colors and with the shine, wow. Just beautiful. I don't know if you can see the shine. I'm sure you can. Um, just beautiful. And you can just see the shine from that resin. Again, some primary colors. That's one of my videos as well. All these pieces were in my videos. Um, just gorgeous. This one just came out stunning. Looks like glass. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. This one here was my collaboration piece. Nice and sealed, looks like glass. So, could be more proud. That is all my pieces. Plus I did some resining on some uh, coasters, so those are ready to go. But anyways, so what I'm gonna do, I'll get you down on the canvas. We'll talk about the colors. We're gonna talk about the composition of how I'm gonna lay them out. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, I'll be right back. I'm doing my biggest canvas to date, a 16 by 40 gallery wrap canvas. And I'm gonna flood this with titanium white, but I'm using creative inspiration. So I did not do a test on this. So this will be the first time I'm using this as my base white. Um, don't need to go through the whole reasoning of what's going on with the artist loft. We all know there's a problem. Um, I could have used Amsterdam titanium white, but I chose not to because I've got two jugs of titanium white from Creative Inspiration. So I thought I'd give it a try. So I mixed it up with my same ratio, 80 grams of Floatrol, 40 grams of the white paint, and 35 grams of water. So then you just multiply that. So I multiply that and got this big batch. I made two batches just because I wanna make sure I got enough. Um, and then the colors we're gonna to use today are Deco Art Berry, Amsterdam's Naples Yellow Light, Pebio's Iridescent Green Yellow, Amsterdam's Light Rose, Pebio Iridescent Violet Blue. Amsterdam Gold Yellow, which is really orange looking. And then Creative Inspiration. And this is a mix of Creative Inspiration's Titanium White and their Emerald Green. The Emerald Green was just a little too vibrant, bright. So I wanted to dull it out a little bit. And so I mixed it with... Um, this is actually, instead of doing a full batch, I did a half batch. So this is 40 grams of Floatrol, 10 grams of Titanium White, and 10 grams of the Emerald Green, and then uh, 15 grams of water. So it's a very beautiful color. All right, let's get going here. Make sure we're all turned on. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flood the canvas and I'm gonna not do branches today because this isn't super wide. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start here at the bottom, kind of go up, come down, go up and down, and then I can blow them out that way. All right, let's get started here. Thank you. 
we're going to go up here, down, up, and down. Perfect. So I do want to make sure I get enough color on here. Maple's yellow. Nice color. Iridescent green, yellow. It's been so hot here in New Hampshire. Well, all over the US, of course, but. So we're getting a little reprieve from the heat, which is nice. This is my first time using this gold yellow color too. All right, and then I'm gonna pour this one on. This is the toned down green. A little bit much there. Oops. All right, let's torch this for bubbles. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start down here and go up that way. Gorgeous colors. Love it. All right, I am going to deal with the composition just a little bit here. Of course. Always in the paint.
Loving this blowout. It's so nice. Love the shape that it's taking there. Okay, so I've got two there, two there, two there, two out there. Good, good, good. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave this right where it is now. Maybe, actually I'm not. I'm gonna take a straw. Going to round this off just a little bit. There we go. I like to give like little edges. Just so things don't look so rounded, I like to give the, the appearance of like little ridges. All right, guys, so I'm going to bring you down off the tripod and I'll show you the wet result. Be right back. I'll take you in for a close up. Loving the colors. So let's start over here. Bring you in for a close up. The way the colors mix, it really got some nice cell action, which is beautiful. Loving the green, it really comes out in there. Just beautiful. It's almost like a traditional Dutch pour because you see that the white really comes into the coloring. Got beautiful blowout pebbles there. Just gorgeous. Loving how these colors mixed. All right, so it's gonna have some shimmer to it too. Gonna remember, like you always have to do, you have to remember to scrape your sides. So you gotta come in with your stick, just run it along. There we go. Just like so. I'll come back and do that again in like 20 minutes just to make sure all the drips are off so it'll stop pulling the paint. I'll do the other side. I'm not gonna show you guys on camera, so. Um, I'm not gonna show you the drive result in this video. I will show you the drive result in my next video. I'm gonna be going away for a few days for work, and so I'm not gonna have time to edit the video in dried, so. All right, guys, remember if you like what you're seeing in my work, and you want to purchase something, you can email me directly at Brian's Upper Valley Artistry at gmail.com. Also, don't forget to leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think of the piece. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That'll let you know when I do post some new content. All right, everyone. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.